Okay, uh, I visited the gallery earlier today and had an opportunity to interact and see the paintings. And this one resonated with me a little bit because um, it's an evolution, as this poem is also an evolution. This is an actual dream that I have had multiple times at different points in the course of my life. I have no idea what it means, but I figured someone here might have some insight for me. So um, I'm going to read this two-part poem to you, which is a three-part poem to you. Um, and it is titled, The Me Who May or May Not Be Me. No matter how many times I have this dream, it's always the same two scenes. One. From the fourth wall, looking into three. At right, a wall of sodden, solid wood horizontal planks, about a foot wide, floor to ceiling. At center, a square cutout, no window, no glass. Lush green vegetation outside filling the opening. At left, same solid wood wall as at right. Three walls converge to a thatched roof, rafters exposed. From one of them hangs the silver metal ceiling fan, four curved blades slowly spinning. The floor is worn, wide planks unvarnished, possibly previously painted white, then stripped, sanded, or worn down with use. At right, in the front third of the room, sits a white-painted dresser, six drawers high, simple shaker-style round drawer pulls, two per rectangular drawer. At left, facing the dresser, a single twin-sized mattress sits upon a metal bed frame, white, its headboard five or six vertical pipes connected to the frame. Some dreams, a curved oval, some dreams, a rounded off square. There is a white sheet over the mattress, tucked. There is a pillow by the headboard, standard sized, inside a plain white pillowcase. And there on the bed is a man. The me who may or may not be me has his arms crossed behind his head, stares intently at the ceiling fan as it slowly turns. Hair center parted, dark brown, clean shaven, his, dog, his silver dog tag shining on a slight chain rising, lowering with breathing. Lips pursed, self-satisfied, content, intent yet calm as if life were under control, some important tasks completed. The me who may or may not be me wears a white sleeveless shirt of ribbed cotton, green and black camouflage pants, black laced boots. His face is my face while in my early twenties. He may be my height, but a huge difference in build. In my twenties, my arms flexed measured twelve inches. This man is easily a 16 I'll never see in this lifetime. Arms crossed behind the pillow, it's the first obvious jarring difference. When he turns, his booted legs pull across to the left as he raises and turns, stops in position, hands gripping the mattress edge. Every dream, the turn is a slain, one fluid motion. From the fourth of the wall, we view his back, a V to W taper, a build never to be mine. He lifts his head slightly, looks out the cutout at the vegetation, and there, scene one ends. Two. The outdoor deck is polished teak, matching polished railing overlooking forest, a mix of ferns and trees, some pine. The me who may or may not be me walks in profile against the paneled wall, perhaps a tea or conference house. He is tiptoeing through this scene as if he's past his curfew, not wishing to be caught. At the edge of the building, he glances up to a circular window, perhaps a pulled shade, perhaps a Japanese-style screen. <coughs> there, in silhouette, the shadow of a man, hair pulled back in a bun, perhaps Han Shan, the Chinese poet, conversing at a party. Nondescript conversation filters from the room, soundtrack to the evening's forest. Still the same dog tags, still the white shirt, camouflage, pants. Still and warm the night, sky overhead with stars, patches visible through forest canopy. Invariably, past the building, glancing furtively at the railing and profile, looking upward, scene two ends. When a dream repeats itself, periodically, across several years, one has to wonder. When we dream, is our time asleep here, the wake time of our soul, somewhere else? Is there a planet populated by other humans, awake six to nine hours, asleep fifteen to eighteen? Is this idealized me, someone I'm to become, a life ending in a gentle, self-satisfied smile? Does someone on another world wake up and wonder, 
Why do I keep thinking the word histrioticon? Sometimes waking, I can almost feel the light summer breeze wafting teakwood. This house on some remote forested mountain. Somehow I know this is on a mountain. How does one find a particular room somewhere within our vast world? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Bring you back to the front and take your seats, and we'll take some.